Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Break. April is National Poetry Month, so today we're going to be talking about poetry in children's literature. So we think that we should probably define poetry as it relates to children's lit, because there's so many different kinds of poetry. Right, yeah, that's a good place to start. So one of the most well-known categories is rhyming picture books. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these are picture books that rhyme, usually in couplets and with a consistent meter. Right, so um, Dr. Seuss books would fall into this category. Uh, Dr. Seuss typically used anapestic tetrameter. All right. For those of us who, it's been a while since we've studied poetry. I'm sorry, I have a poetry background. So what this is <laughs> anapestic tetrameter? All right, um, an anapest is um, three syllables. It's unstressed, unstressed, stressed. So it's da-da-dum, da-da-dum, da-da-dum. So um, you actually see anapests a lot in rhyming picture books because it's got that nice lilting, soothing quality mm -hmm. to it. Um, and tetrameter just means there's four anapests in a line. So in Horton, here's a who you have. Um, in the 15th of May, in the jungle of Newell, in the heat of the day, by the cool of the pool. Like, got it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's what he typically wrote in. And yeah, those are great for, you know, lulling kids to sleep mm -hmm. and to, you know, still keep them entertained in the story because kids really like that kind of musical language. Mm -hmm. I mean, it also just really lends itself to reading aloud if you're yeah. not really sure how do I you know, express this book when I'm reading to my kid. Well, rhyming couplets <laughs> are really easy to just read how they've written it. So yeah, yeah. Another thing I love about rhyming picture books is that they prove that kids really can handle poetry. They're hardwired to hear this rhyme and meter. Right, yeah, they love specific patterns in language. You know, it helps them acquire it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, all those people who say that, oh, kids don't like poetry, they think it's boring, lies. Yeah. Absolute I lies. I don't know what kids you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, besides just rhyming picture books and Dr. Seuss, there are also um, poetry collections, which there are poetry collections for kids. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, most people know about Shel Silverstein. Love Shel Silverstein. So, but yeah, Shel Silverstein's a great example because um, he uses a lot of different kinds of poems in his books, and they all have different rhyme schemes and different meters. Um, and so, I mean, even if you don't want to get into the, you know, oh, this is a sing queen, this is a <laughs> sonnet, you know, if you don't want to label them, you can still point out the meter and the rhyme scheme. And like, kids can understand that really well. So Pond Full of Ink, this is one of our books, and it's kind of Shel Silverstein-ish in yeah. quality. Yeah, they're just a really, like, they're a bunch of silly poems. Um, they're really fun, but they all have different rhyme schemes, and like this one is rhyming couplets, and then um, there are others that are like, a, B, B, A, C, C, and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just fun to kind of go through them and you know read them and then maybe talk about the rhyme scheme in there. So that's more of a book for older kids, but um, we do have another poetry collection manger, and this is actually um, a Christmas collection. They're all Christmas themed. Um, but you know, a lot of these are like blank verse or free verse poems, um, but a lot of them have rhyme schemes in them. And they're by all different poets, too. Right, yeah. Um, so you've got, um, you know, it's a really short poem. It's just eight lines long. But you've got um, A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. So even there, you've got a rhyme scheme. You've got some meter. So um, it's a nice, short, simple version. But it can also open up that discussion and start getting kids to think about the mechanics of poetry. Mm -hmm. Or even just, yeah, it's just get their brains used to patterns and I mean that's huge for learning and brain function. So yeah, absolutely. Even if they're not ready, yeah, for the technical terms, there's plenty there for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poetry is a great way of helping kids to focus not on just what is said but how it's said. Mm -hmm. You know, and so like even thinking about the poet's intentions, you know, what could they be, you know, implying with this imagery or this metaphor? Yeah. Yeah. And, w and one way that you can learn that is by not just looking at the poetry, but b looking at the poet and the life of the poet. Right. Yeah. Supplementary For research. Instance, <laughs> <laughs> a River of Words is about William Carlos Williams. Mm -hmm. And it's a great um, kid's introduction to the life of a poet and how he became a poet and how all of his, he could interpret 
you know, his life in his poetry. Yeah, and I love that, um, I mean, Melissa Sweet does a great job of even putting his poems right alongside Jen Bryant's text. Mm -hmm. So you have like his life of, you know, being a doctor and kind of yearning for, you know, simplicity. And then you've got, you know, so much depends upon the red wheelbarrow and everything. Um, so yeah, it's a great way of showing the juxtaposition between the life and the art. Right, I think a lot of people are turned off by poetry because it's really intense, it can feel hard to grasp, and this is not how I speak, so how do I know what they're saying? <laughs> but there are so many benefits to poetry. Yeah, absolutely, because I mean, poetry contains a lot of the same components that literature does. It's mm -hmm. got symbolism, it's got imagery, you know, so these, um, because it's nice and condensed, it can be a really great way to focus on these specific pieces. So it helps you learn more about language and rhetoric. And also it just, it promotes creativity and empathy. So it's a great idea to introduce young readers to poetry. Yeah, yeah. So uh, April is National Poetry Month. You should go out there and read some great new poems and share your favorite ones with someone else. Feel free to post your favorite poems in the comments because we would love to read them and discover more poetry. Yes. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. What are the benefits? <laughs> That's a really good question.